Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a really nice unboxing of this beautiful little Chanel package I got in the mail. I, I actually purchased <clears throat> two of the new um, Leon lipsticks from Chanel. I was going to order a third one, but the spring 2021 collection is coming up and I have to budget myself because there's quite a bit of things that I want from that collection. But uh, before we get started with the unboxing here, I want to talk about the new Chanel Le, Le Lion um, perfume. It I received a sample in the mail from Sophia. Thank you so much. Um, she's always so thoughtful and she had actually sent the sample the moment it came in. And she was just so sweet. I'll leave her information in the description box below. She is a Chanel sales representative and if you need anything out of the Atlanta boutique, uh, she can go ahead and um, process that for you and ship it to you. So very quickly, I I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. That was the last drop in there. Okay. So <clears throat> the way that this sample comes, it's this little white box, and I kind of just wanted to show this to you guys with this little sticker in the back. And then when you open the flap, on the inside is this little tissue paper. And inside the tissue paper, is this little white ceramic lion emblem is that cute or what and then on the back it just has the chanel le leon um the lion little stamp but i just thought what a what a cute touch uh to something so simple as a perfume sample i mean that's that's one of the things I love about Chanel is just that they pay attention to detail. And so um, when you just flip open this tab right here with the little sticker, then you're able to access the perfume sample. So I'm glad that Sophia sent me a sample of this in the mail. This is definitely a very unique fragrance. And it's going to be one of those fragrances what, that either you love it or you hate it. Now, I've already smelled this fragrance and I let it dry on my skin. Now, the, the, the pH levels of my skin will change a fragrance um, most of the time. I would say like 80% of the time. Um, and even when it dried down, I was not a fan of this uh, perfume. To me, initially, it just smells like uh, a men's, you know, cologne. Uh, it's not, it's just too masculine for my, for my taste. However, I can see where they were going with, um, like the idea behind this fragrance, you know, the emblem, you know, is a lion. It had to be very bold very in your face um so i it's it definitely checks off all of those boxes but the reason i say i i wouldn't purchase this it's not really my taste is i tend to gravitate toward floral scents and i don't get any floralness in this um perfume i get a lot of musk a lot of spiciness um i just it's a very deep, warm fragrance. And when I smell it and I close my eyes, I just feel like I, this is something my husband would wear, you know? Um, it's definitely very appropriate for the fall. But if you are the type of person that you really like those warm scents and maybe the pH level of your skin does change this a little bit, because that's the other thing, like with fragrance, I may put something on and it's going to smell completely different on me than it would on my friends. So on me, this just fragrance didn't work 
as well as I thought it would. But it is still a really good fragrance. I feel that there are people who are going to totally fall in love with this and it's going to smell great on them. And I have had instances in my life where I have liked a particular fragrance and the way that it smelled in the bottle. But then when I put it on, I'm like, wait a second, it smells completely different. And I haven't been able to purchase that fragrance because it just doesn't smell great on me. And so I think that this is going to be one of those things that I'm going to be walking in the street. Somebody's going to be wearing this. I'm going to smell it. I'm going to know it's, it's Chanel La Lion, but I'm going to say, wow, that definitely didn't smell like that on me. And it smells amazing on that person. So I highly encourage that you get a sample of the perfume before you invest. And not just because it's this particular fragrance, but I usually always get a sample of a perfume before I invest because I know, you know, my skin will change that kind of smell uh, throughout the day. Now, let's talk about the lasting power on this. Um, in Spanish, we call it el fijador. <laughs> um, the lasting power of this fragrance is crazy. Uh, it's super strong. It, you can even smell it after you shower, which I only have a couple fragrances that in my collection that do that. So I had put this on in the morning and I had worked out and I sweat like an animal and then I had showered and after I had gone out of the shower, gotten out of the shower, I'm sorry, um, I could still smell it. I could still smell it in my neck area. And I was like, man, I mean, you're only gonna, if you buy, I know the bottle of this is gonna be super expensive, but if you buy this, you're really only gonna need one spray maybe two if you want to be extra because it's just so strong it has a very good fijador it's amazing and another and the last thing i want to mention is i really appreciate when a company has a good sample um size um, perfume sample along with packaging so there's nothing more that I that I just hate that when you get a perfume sample, it's not in a spray form or if it is in a spray form, it's really flimsy and it doesn't always work. So you end up having to remove the cap and having to pour large and unnecessary amounts of perfume, uh, you know, that you get in your sample. But Chanel's perfume samples are always very sturdy and the spritz on this is it's like a mist it's awesome i think it's great so this is what the little perfume sample looks like and i just sprayed one spray on my sweater um because i didn't put it on my skin just because it just it's gonna smell better on my sweater on my skin it just we don't jive so I prefer this scent over putting it on, on my skin. Anyways, I sprayed it and I don't even have to move my arm. I smell it from here consistently and I use smell it consistently throughout the day. So such an amazing fragrance. I really recommend that you guys go smell it in the store. Now let's get to the unboxing and the lipsticks. So. All of this is uh this Sophia did such an amazing job packaging this um box. It is this is the new holiday packaging. It's the world, everything is gold, earth, stars. And then on the back it has uh Chanel. And then I'm not sure if you can see if the camera is going to pick this up. But it has like this gold mist over it it's like splattered with like gold um mist i just want to see if the camera is gonna do you see that yeah all right so the ribbon is absolutely gorgeous it looks like that um material their bags are made of the tweed 
It's so, so nice, so pretty. So let's undo this bow. And of course I'm gonna keep this ribbon. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, actually no, I, I don't think I can. I can't, so unless I keep the box. It's literally attached to the box. So this is so cute. I think I just may use this thing for like storage. Oh, what she's so sweet. So Sophia's really good at, you know, uh, keeping track of the things you tried and just things that you may be interested in. She always likes to put a little bit of samples <clears throat> in when you make a purchase, which is so sweet of her. So she included the La Base Mascara Lash Primer. You guys know I love this stuff. I uh, use it every day. It helps to prime your lashes before you uh, put, in, put on your makeup. And then uh, there's this tiny, this is what totally gets me. Every time she puts one of these little bags in the box, it brings me so much joy. Like how cute is this? How cute is this? Inside, she put in a um, sample of the new La Masque and the new La Gommage, which is the gel exfoliant, anti-pollution exfoli exfoliating gel. These are the two new skincare products that launched um, a couple months ago. It was a new mask and a new exfoliating cleanser. I did purchase a full-size version of these, but I haven't used them yet. So I guess I will start off with the samples. That's really, really thoughtful. Thank you so much, Sophia. Then, now let's get to the lipsticks. Actually, there's something else in here. What is this? Oh, that's right. I had forgotten. So I had told her a couple of uh, fragrances I haven't tried yet. And thank you so much. <laughs> Sophia, okay, so I haven't tried, I've tried all the other Chanel chants like Vive, Tundra, all of those, but I haven't tried the original Chanel chants. So I'm really excited to try this out. If you guys own this fragrance and you love it, leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, she included another uh, Chanel Le Lion uh, perfume and this one that i've been very curious curious about after watching abby um abby bliss white's uh, youtube channel she had her husband had gifted her this fragrance 1957 and she said it was amazing uh so i've been really curious about this fragrance so i'm gonna give it a try and uh, again let me know if you own this one leave me a comment down below what your thoughts are about it now let's get to the lipsticks so i only purchased two i really was intrigued by lipstick 277 which was like a brick red but each of these lipsticks are 42 dollars, which is more expensive than they are originally worth um normally their lipsticks are 38 uh but because it has this special limited edition packaging they're 42 dollars so the two colors I got were 237 Beige Ardent and 227 Beige Beige Rougisant. I'm sure I'm butchering that. But this is the packaging. It's got that little lion emblem on it. Let me see if my camera is going to focus. There we go. You see the little lion emblem? really cute and then let's go ahead and swatch these and try them on i'm gonna go ahead and take off my lip balm that i had on and then i'm gonna i always like to start off with the lightest shade i can't remember which one is the lightest shade but let me get into packaging before i do that i just want you guys to see what this looks like all right, so beige number 227 is the lightest shade. So this is what the packaging looks like. And then on the top, you have the lion emblem. 
which is the same as their camellia lipsticks that i think launched last year it had a camellia on the top or maybe it was at the beginning of this year i can't remember so we're gonna start off with 227 i'm gonna swatch this on the back of my hand so that you guys can see it's of course the most beautiful orangey nude beige color I've seen which you guys know I have been on the hunt for a perfect orange based nude kind of color and I've officially found it with this lipstick it is the Rouge Allure Velvet um, formula so it's gonna be hydrating it's not gonna be a matte finish it'll it'll even though it's creamy you're getting a velvet satin finish with this lipstick oh I love it it feels so creamy very pigmented guys very pigmented okay now let me give you a little close-up so you definitely have this like nude beige foundation to the lipstick it has that base but they threw in a little splash of a terracotta orange I'm all about this this screams the perfect fall nude color and I'm so sad that it's limited edition and if it wasn't so expensive I'd probably buy a backup okay so now let's move on to the next one that's gonna be 237 beige ardent now not all of the lipsticks I noticed are are new because I noticed that Rouge V was there and I own Rouge V. Actually, I have it right here. It comes um, in the, I got it in the limited edition red packaging, but this is definitely not a, a, new, a new shade. It's number 58, Rouge V. Um, so I guess on, there's only certain colors that are new. Now let me swatch rose, I mean beige ardent next to this one. So this is definitely more of a um, mauve nude. Let me make that a little darker. So you can clearly see they side by side they're completely different shades. So if you really like that mauve tone, you're gonna really like 237. Okay, so this one has some very thin micro glitter. Sparkle, yeah, it's got like these little sparkly, you can't, you can't feel it when you put on the lipstick or when you rub your lips together. But you can see it when the light catches it. Okay, so this definitely came off a little bit more brown actually when I built it up than what I expected because on the swatch it looks mauve but I guess when you start to build up the color it's a little bit more brown you know what 
I'm gonna open the curtain and see if it's a lighting issue. Give me a second. Okay, no, I raised the curtain and it's now extremely bright uh, in here. But no, looks like when you build it up, you get this mauve brown kind of color. I wonder if you guys could see those micro, micro glitters I was talking about when the light catches it. They are very, very subtle, but they're definitely there. Hmm, I'm sorry if the camera's not picking it up. But anyway, th this is just what that last shade looks like. I love the texture of this of these lipsticks. Super pigmented, very comfortable on the lips. Um, very moisturizing. You feel it the moment you put it on. Uh, but I have to say, if I could only pick out of these two, it would be 227 um, Beige Rougissant. Uh, it's just the perfect fall terracotta shade. I love it. And... 227 doesn't have these micro uh, glitters that 237 has. This is definitely a very unique shade that I don't have in my collection at all. If I end up picking up that other shade, that red shade I wanted, uh, 277, I will definitely film it for you guys. But anyways, that completes this video. If you guys picked up any of these lipsticks, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know what shades you guys picked up. As of right now, I don't see these available on the website. So if you want to order them uh, from the boutique through Sophia, I will leave you her contact information down below. You guys, she is super sweet and she will go ahead and process that order for you with, you know, once you pay and she'll go ahead and ship that over to you along with, you know, some samples. So thank you so much for your time and have a great weekend, guys. Bye.